Hello, you sexy chicken people, and welcome back to part two on how to draw a gun versus gun. In part one, we I taught you how to draw Danny gun, so uh, or machine gun Danny, however you want to uh, you know pronounce it. Now, one thing I forgot, which I'm very sorry for, um, is the magazine, which. Uh, was loaded to the gun. I am very sorry but about that, but it's just like a rectangle, right? Just make a rectangle attached to this area of the gun, and just make some lines, you know, and then just uh, color it in and shade it. And I also did a little bit of shading with my index finger on the barrel, which I'm sorry I didn't teach you how to do either. But, uh, okay, let's get on with it. Okay. Now, uh, in this part, we are going to make Tommy Gun, which is one of my favorites. I, lo I love this guy, he's awesome. <laughs> you know, he he's just so cool. Tommy, I mean, I mean, uh, Danny, you're, you're great and all, but I, I just like, I just, I love uh, Tommy Gun, because, you know, he's just a, he's ba he's B.A., you know. Okay, now, uh, making his shoulder right here, uh, you want to make, you want to have it touch Danny Gun's shoulder. Actually, you kind of want to overlap, uh, have, uh, Danny Gun's, I mean, uh, yeah, uh, Tommy Gun's arm overlap. Uh, arm sleeve over a uh, shirt sleeve overlapped. Okay. And of course, I, I uh, darkened the uh, shirt and cap for the gun. For Tommy Gun, mate. For Danny Gun, I am so sorry. Um, yeah, I'll get the names mixed up a lot, but uh, other than that, uh, I hope you don't get. To, uh, other than that, you shouldn't really get too mixed up, you know. Hopefully, you'll know the difference. Um, this is this is Danny Gun, and this is Tommy. Gun. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. making the arm. Sorry for the mix-up. It, now, it's kind of like uh, this arm, but it's uh, pointing the opposite direction, and uh, Danny Gun and uh, Tommy Gun's arm is more beefier. But you don't want to make it too beefy. You just want to make it a medium size thickness. Add some shading right there. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and make the hairs of Tommy Gun. Which is going to go over his arm. He 
do some hairs. Make sure you shave right here as well. Now uh, for the hand. Now uh, for the hand, we are going to make the fingers, which uh, just like Danny's gun, uh, uh, just like uh, Danny's hand right here, uh, it's it's going to be like in the same position, because like. They're like holding the same rifle, but it's not really the same rifle because uh, the one that you know uh, Danny guns hand, uh, hand, uh, handling is the, the end strike, and this and the one that we're going to make uh, soon is going to be the uh, retaliator. Now, if you do not know what I'm talking about whatsoever, please Google it. You know, um, I'm not gonna do like a whole video on Nerf guns for you, I'm sorry, but it, this is not really what the channel is about. <laughs> so Google it, or better yet, just, you know, um, watch their watch their videos, because they're really funny. It's like a brother feud, brother against brother, which they don't really look like to be brothers. I don't, I don't think they are brothers, but they probably are, I'm not sure. Okay, now, uh, need to make the knuckles, which are just like the same with Danny guns. Make sure you shade in his fingers as well, because uh, the gun is overshadowing it. Okay. Now we're making the gun itself. Which will be in like uh, separate pieces. Now the uh, Nerf gun retaliator is like, you know, every Nerf gun has a cool design to it. It'll have like shapes, different shapes and stuff to it. Erase some of the uh, eraser bits. Okay. So uh, right here, when we're making the uh, cocking, right here, uh, there's there's gonna be like rectangles right here, long right rectangles. Okay, now right here, we're going to make a little clip piece. This is going to be the clip piece, and just make a little shape right there. Okay, now right here in this area, we're going to make a shape like a wine bottle or a beer bottle. Let's call it a wine bottle. It's going to be the outer shape, going to be the shape of a beer bottle or a wine bottle, of course. Uh, and make the tactical rails, which are just, just a line or just, it's just a railing right there. Now right here, uh, make a square, right about here, 
Now, right here, it's supposed to say retaliator, but it's really in tiny letters, and I'm not going to go and bother with that. So, what I'm going to do for a substitute is just make little teeny squares. And that's, that's about it. Um, if I did that, you're not going to be able to see it anyways. So, you know, I, I might as well just not you know, bother with it. So yeah, actually this is supposed to be, uh, move this down a little, because I forgot there's some other shapes to be, make, to be made, sorry about that. But yeah, um, if I did make the retaliator, like, title on this, it, you wouldn't see it, because my webcam, it, it doesn't really have any good quality, and I'm trying to make uh, my pencil lines dark enough so you can actually see it. If I get the money, I will go to Radio Shack and get a 780, uh, 720p uh, quality web camera, or uh, 180p, because um, I 180p is HD, so is 720, which is really nice. Okay. Now we are getting to the bottom area right here. <sighs> okay. If you uh, heard a yawn, that was my mom. Sorry. Okay, and uh, we are going to make the Nerf logo. Now you're probably asking yourself, well, why, why are you making the Nerf logo if you can make the if you why can't okay why if you why are you making the Nerf logo if you're not going to make or, uh, you know, if you're not going to make the uh, retaliator, well, because Nerf, this is much bigger than the retaliator thing, so, you yeah. know, which I'm not going to do to, uh, I'm just going to write out and, like, just Nerf, and it gets each letter, especially, like, E is small, but R and F gets bigger. Which I'm not, I'm not going to focus too much on that, you know. I'm not really going to complete it, so it's it's just going to be just that. You don't have to do it. Now, right here, now right here, we're going to make the clip area, which. Just like this one, just like this, uh, right here, it's going to be, it's just going to be a clip, it's going to be like a square, actually it's going to be a rectangle because this clip is much bigger than Danny's clip. this in. I take my fingers and just shade it in. Just like that. If you have your uh, protractor or ruler, go ahead and uh, just 
do that, you know, just uh, measure the lines. Okay. Now with the rest of the gun. We're going to make the barrel, which, like I said before, is just a barrel. It's going to be like a cylinder type shape to it. Okay, now uh, just like uh, with this right here, just like with this we're going to do the little holes, there's going to be uh, three sections of uh, little lines, and there will be total of six lines. Now on the bottom uh, is the biggest lines, one of the biggest. Okay. Now right here in this area of the barrel uh, are going to be some lines as well, little lines it doesn't matter how many the number that I'm making is five so Okay. Now I'm going to do some shading right here. Now I, what I recommend is going with the pencil. Uh, do some uh, pencil uh, shading right there and uh, just shade. Now I'm going to go back here. Do the same. This. Now you want to lightly shade in this area right here, darken the top of the barrel, the end right there. Now I would darken the outline, uh, the uh, out, outer part of the beer bottle that we just made, or the wine bottle. Now right here is, is going to be the butt. <laughs> okay, sorry. Now we're going to make a little pole, which is going to be like a triangle pole connecting right here. like that and there will be some smudges but just erase those ok 
time. Now uh, darken this area right here. Okay. Now right here in this area, we are going to make the handle, which is just going to be very simple. If you uh, you know, it, go to your local arcade, and if you see like a, it's, it's kind of like, it looks like a joystick, like picture an Atari controller. If you don't know what an Atari controller looks like. Uh, Google it. It looks like an upside Atari controller. Upside down control Atari looks like an upside down Atari controller. But it's not like it, it's. Uh, but instead, it has like a thick, a thick handle. Hope that was a good enough analogy for you guys. And I cannot believe I just spent about well, 21 minutes on the arm and the gun. <laughs> so I do apologize for that. But I want you guys, like I said in the other video, to get the full experience. So that's about it for the gun. Erase some of the smudges right here. Okay, now, we are going to get in the fun territory, which, uh, I, I love de detailing the face, you know. I, I like doing, I like drawing faces, so this will be a fun little opportunity for me. Okay. Now we're making the neck of Danny Gun. Tommy Gun, I am very sorry for that. Okay. Now, uh, unlike Tommy right here, uh, unlike Danny, I am so sorry for this. Uh, unlike Danny, uh, Tommy's beard is much bigger and thicker. So you want to capture that thickness, that rough beard. Look. Right here, leave some room, leaves uh, an area for the lip area. Okay. Just like that. Now make his nose, which is very simple.
try not to make it uh, uh, Danny, Danny's and Tommy's nose look different. Remember that. Which is very, uh, you know, it's it's like rock star hair, you know. Make some hair will be falling down on falling down. I'm gonna switch to my darker pencil. I'm going to shade, darken in Tommy's hair. Follow the exact same details I do. Well, not the exact same, but you know what I'm talking about. Okay, we almost got the hair down. Down packed. Okay, now we're going to make his eyes. Let's go do a few more rays. I'm gonna fix up on his lips. Bit, which are just like the lips are just uh, like two little buns, hot dog buns, smushed together. Okay. Now, uh, let's finally get into the eyes. Uh, I'm sorry. Okay, so now I'm making the eyebrow of Danny Guy, of uh, uh, Tommy Gunn's eye. Now, um, we're just going to, uh, 
do like what we did with the last uh, with uh, Danny right here. Just uh, make a little white circle. Make some darkness. Now, uh, just like now, uh, Tommy Gun is uh, more angrier and determined than than uh, Danny right here. Make the pupils. A Danny gun, a Tommy gun. Now, uh, for his forehead, go ahead and shade that in. shooting on his nose area. Good. Now I'm going to make the skin stretches on Danny's, on Tommy's neck. Okay, so that's basically it. Uh, just make some, just make some, some like braids, or not really braids, but uh, make some long, agile hair. Right there, looks very cool and realistic. And I'll do a close up. Now I'm not going to color this shirt. I'm just going to leave it like white, but I am going to draw a little bit of detail in it. You know, uh, I guess I'll just uh, make a skull, you know. 
or uh, like a ghostly figure, kind of like Danny's right here. Okay, that's about it. For this drawing tutorial, I would, uh, if I were you, I would make some stretches, some shirts, some ruffles, the shirt area. Okay. And, uh, wow, I thought I did a good job on this, and I hope you guys think so, too, and I uh, hope you, I hope this was very informative to you. Okay. So, yeah, I thought I did really good. There's a close-up close on Danny's, on Tommy's face, also Danny's face. So, uh, remember my technique for the shading area? And sorry if this is a little bit, uh, I'm sh a little bit not too straight here. Sorry for that. Other than that, I thought I did a really good job. So, yeah. Well, that's it for part two. I hope you enjoyed this drawing tutorial. I had a lot of fun making it. And I will see you next time. Okay, I'm still here. Why am I still here? <laughs> okay. Well, uh, before I leave, I want to do a little bit of update. Um, the Trash Pack series is uh, is still going, okay? Um, so don't worry. I'm, I'm still going to make videos on that. And uh, I will be making uh, Papa Smurf. I will be making a video on pop, how to draw li the live-action Papa Smurf and the uh, live-action Papa Smurf and the classic Smurf. So stay tuned for that. It will come eventually. So yeah, and that, and this is Art Chicken signing off for real this time. <laughs>